Have you ever considered getting pullets versus chicks? Well, I recently had my flock of chickens stolen, which was not a happy time here on our little farm, but it's something that happened. I'll link to the video if you want to hear more about that in the description. But anyways, I lost all of my hens in a really short period of time. And so I don't want to go through a long waiting period before I get fresh eggs again. And so I just bought nine pullets. I got Isa Browns, which are also the same as a Red Star. They are a sex link chicken and they're really, really great layers. We got them from a local um, chicken farm here. If you're in the Central Valley, it's called the Dino's Egg Ranch. They are in Clovis, California. They have great hens. I've bought, bought from them a few times over the years and they just have really great hens. You can see them behind me. They're, they're really sweet birds but most of all, they're just really great layers. And so I wanted to talk about what a pullet is because it might not be something you're familiar with, but a pullet is a hen who's just about ready to lay or maybe laying. So it's a young laying hen. These ones that I just bought are about five months old, so they should be laying any day now. And it's a great way to just start getting some fresh eggs. So if you don't really care about picking out different breeds, getting pullets is a really great way to go. Um, if you want to choose from various breeds, then I would recommend going to your local feed store or ordering from a hatchery and getting various chicks. But what I'm going to do is I now have these pullets, but I'm also going to order chicks. So I right now have 10 hens behind me. I only had one hen that ended up um, lasting after my hens got stolen. So I had 12 hens that were stolen. A couple died from the stress of being chased around. And so I now have nine more. So a total of 10 hens right now, which is gonna give us plenty of eggs. And then I'm gonna order some chicks from the hatchery so I can pick out some other breeds. I have some favorite breeds that I just love raising. I like having variety in the coop. And so I'm gonna order all of my favorite breeds from the hatchery as baby chicks. And they should, should be arriving soon in the next few weeks. But I just wanted to kind of go over pullets because a lot of people don't order pullets or they don't even think about it. And so if you want to start getting eggs soon, I would recommend getting pullets. There's some hatcheries you can order from or if you're local to the Central Valley, did you know it's egg ranch? And I'm sure there's lots of other local places, depending on where you live, where you can also order pullets from. So if you already have chickens or are thinking about getting chickens this year, I have a free chicken keeping checklist for you. Um, it's a really simple download, but it just goes over daily, weekly, and monthly chicken keeping tasks to simplify your life. So just head to the description below and download that checklist. And then head to this next video right here because I go over the best chicken breeds to raise, whether you're wanting them for eggs or meat or dual purpose breeds. I just go over all the various breeds so it'll help you pick out the right breeds for you if you're considering getting chickens but don't know where to begin. So I'll see you in that next video.